Hey guys, here is E, and today is once again a Valentine's recipe idea, and this is a French dessert. You know, I've been cooking Chinese, Japanese, Thai, German dishes on my channel. And this one is my first French recipe because what can be better as something you're going to serve on Valentine's Day and it has to be French. So when I saw this recipe, I knew I have to do it and there can't be better timing for this. And this is a flaming crepe souffle dessert and you use lots of liqueur so that's why you can actually light it up. And uh, it takes a bit of time and effort but it totally worth it. It gives you that warm effect and I'm sure you'll enjoy this recipe so let's do it! Mm -hmm. For our souffle crepe we will need a half cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one egg, the orange zest from half orange, two and a half tablespoon of butter melted, a pinch of salt, half cup of milk. So firstly, sift through our flour and sugar. Make sure there is no lumps. Use our spatula to make a small well in the middle. Crack one egg in the middle. Now adding our salt. Our orange zest. Now we can start mixing in the middle. Adding one third of our milk. And combine everything together until our butter is fluid. Adding two and a half tablespoon of melted butter. Then the rest of our milk, mixing well. We need to rest our crepe butter for at least 30 minutes. At the meanwhile, we can make our pastry cream. We will need three eggs, half cup of milk, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of flour and cornstarch, two tablespoons of sugar, adding our milk, and the vanilla extract in a small milk pot and turn it on medium heat and bring it to boil. Once it starts boiling, we can turn off the heat and set it aside, let it cool. Now we can crack one egg, separate the egg white and the egg yolk. You can see the egg I got from Edeka has a really fragile shell, so be careful. Now adding our sugar into the egg yolk. Beat it with the mixer until it's fluffy and pale. Now we can add in our flour and our cornstarch. Mixing well until it's combined and fluid. We can add in our hot milk in. Mix it well. Then we can put our mixture back into our milk pot. You can see I didn't wash it just to save a bit of time. And we turn our stove on low heat and keep stirring our mixture. If it's fluid, means it's not done. Just continue to stir it until it turns to a gooey texture. 
almost like pudding. Now we set it aside. We can brush a layer of melted butter on top to prevent it from crusting. Now we can let it cool. Now let's make our, our crepes. So two tablespoons of our crepe butter and just do the usual way how you usually make a crepe. And flip it over. So before that I use a large spatula, then I realized it's just easier with my hands. So I just want to show you a couple of more times how I made these beautiful crepes. So the trick is to make them as thin as possible. And they are about 15 centimeters large. Now we prepare a baking tray and uh, a sheet of baking paper. So grease it with uh, softened butter. Now we can crack the left two eggs. Then separate the egg white from the egg yolks. Now we just need the half of the egg yolks. And mix it in with our pastry cream. Now we need two tablespoons of Cointreau. This liquor, if I pronounce it correctly. And mix it well using our spatula. Then I realized there are some lumps in the pastry cream, so I just sift through a strainer. Make sure it's smooth. Now we can beat our egg white until it has a hard peak. Then we take about one third of the egg white and just blend it into our pastry cream, just to loosen it up. Once it's mixed properly, we can add in the rest of the egg white. So we're using the cutting motion. Now we take one our pancake and lay in about two tablespoons of the pastry cream and fold it over. Here I made five of the crepe souffle. We need to warm up about three tablespoons of the contour. This we will use later for flaming. Now turn our oven to uh, 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. Here lighting up our liquor and just pour it into our crepe and decorate it with a bit of uh, powdered sugar or icing sugar. Here you have it. Here is my flaming crepe souffle. So, a really long name. Let's give it a try. So the souffle actually deflame it really quickly. After maybe 10 seconds out of the oven. So here is my orange flavored crepe. Mmm. Tastes really sophisticated with the liquor. Mmm. And actually still can see the souffle dough inside. And which makes it really soft. And sorry, I'm just going to use my hand, which is easier. Mmm. Mmm. It's soft, it's crispy, it's so sweet, but also a bit bitterness from the liqueur. <laughs> 
I can't think of a better thing for Valentine's Day. So hopefully you enjoy my Valentine's Day dessert recipe for this year. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumb up and leave your comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And everybody, I wish you a romantic and happy Valentine's Day with your loved ones. So, see ya! Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here! Click here! Click here! Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. See you, Tatja.